Hyundai Heavy Industries will launch the world's first self-driving ship in the first quarter. Korean shipbuilder signs MOU for data platform with Palantir by Kim Hyun Bin. Las Vegas Hyundai Heavy Industries Group, the world's biggest shipbuilder by sales, aims to take the lead in the future shipbuilding industry by introducing the world's first self-driving vessel equipped with autonomous navigation technology within the first quarter of this year, the company said Wednesday. I am proud of the past 50 years of HHI Group, which has laid the groundwork for the growth of the world. In the next 50 years, we will become the world's best future builder and create new growth that is more sustainable, smarter, and more inclusive, something we have never seen before, Chung Kaisen, CEO of HHI Holdings, said at a press conference, Wednesday, the first day of the Consumer Electronics Show 2022 held at the Las Vegas Convention Center. The CEO's presentation focused on the visions and goals related to the future builder concept and highlighted several key innovative technologies for future growth, including the Abacus Autonomous Navigation Technology, Liquid Hydrogen Transport Propulsion System Technology, Intelligent Robotics and Solution Technology as the group's innovative technologies that will lead its three core businesses of shipbuilding and offshore engineering, energy and industrial machinery. Avacus is the Autonomous Navigation System Development Unit of the Korean shipbuilder. Avacus engineer Ju Hyo Jang introduced Avacus Autonomous Navigation Technology as a core technology that can reduce the possibility of marine accidents and dramatically change maritime logistics and marine resource development. Avacus plans to have the world's first self-driving, massive-scale transoceanic voyage by the first quarter of this year. Our mission is to enable fully autonomous navigation to create the safest and most intelligent ships, Ju said. Autonomous navigation technology will be the future of maritime mobility, innovate logistics and reduce the risk of accidents as well as increase the possibility of offshore development, Chung added. In order to become a more data-based company, HHI Group said it signed a memorandum of understanding on Tuesday with Palantir Technologies, a global leader in big data analytics, to build a big data platform for its core businesses such as shipbuilding and offshore engineering. Kim Sung Joon, head of Korea Shipbuilding Offshore Engineering's Advanced Research Center, presented the maritime hydrogen value chain as a solution to the energy crisis and climate change. He suggested the green hydrogen production technology and liquid hydrogen carrier as core technologies that will increase the possibilities of the marine hydrogen business, announcing that HHI Group plans to build a 100 MW green hydrogen production plant and develop the world's first 20,000 cubic meter hydrogen carrier by 2025. Michael Ryu of Clue Insights, a developer of big data-based equipment management solutions for HHI Group, showed the safe and efficient construction site of the future to be realized by the intelligent robotics technology. Hyundai Doosan Infracore and Hyundai Construction Equipment are planning to commercialize smart construction robots and related platform services by 2025, with the goal of realizing unmanned construction sites. Hyundai Robotics is also planning to launch service robots for various fields including food, beverage and quarantine, which will make life safer and more abundant utilizing the technologies accumulated in the industrial robotics field. We are demonstrating HHI Group's technological capabilities and future vision in the arena of technological innovation of global companies. While looking at the technology trends of global companies, we will actively seek opportunities for business partnerships with them, an official from the group said.